when you you and me and were uh, working and living living in uh, New York. What did they think of you there? Because I mean, I, I realize you know Dylan come from Hibbing, Minnesota. Different people come uh, within it, but it was, I, I know that they think, my God, we got a real authentic cowboy here because Ian had done rodeos and stuff like that. Well, he certainly impressed the guys. They all started to wear their jeans without the bottoms rolled up. <laughs> <laughs> they liked the look, but uh, no, it was a, it was a very welcoming scene, and of course, Dave Van Ronk was kind of the master of ceremonies yeah, and yeah. well welcomed us and introduced us to everybody. He was quite an amazing person. Tell me about your great friendship with uh, Bob Dylan's uh, lady at that time, Susie Rotolo, who unfortunately has passed away. If you've ever seen the uh, freewheeling uh, album cover of Bob coming up the street with this wonderful, wonderful woman, that's Susie, you know? Well, Susie and I became friends because she was Dylan's girlfriend and we were the only people that we knew uh, because there weren't a lot of female performers uh, in the New York scene at that time, uh, other than, say, Judy Collins and uh, Carolyn Hester. But all of the other women who were on were basically groupies. And so Susie and I hit it off right away because she was an artist and, and, and a, a poet. And, and Susie uh, was an amazing person because uh, she belonged to an Italian communist family during the time when that was not a very comfortable thing to be. And I don't know if you've read Susie's book, but uh, the, she was raised with the idea that the, that the cops could come and take her parents away at any time. But she was a red diaper baby, that's what yeah, she described. Yeah, red it. diaper yeah. baby is yeah. what it was called. And uh, so it, it had a very strong effect on her. And she knew all of the beat poets and all of the leftists. And, and I mean, I don't think that Dylan had a, a protest idea in his head before he met Susie, quite frankly. That's my opinion. Well, Susie also worked for CORE and took him to different protests. Yeah, and, and Susie was, was um, uh, marching for integration in New York schools when she was yeah. 15 years old, so. Yeah, and uh, the inspiration of a lot of his songs, you know. <laughs> 